welcome friends in the very first video of application of trigonometry uh, up to this point I suppose uh, that you have learned all the basic concepts of the trigonometry and uh, uh, as I told you in previous videos we had learned all the six trigonometric ratios sine cosine tan cot sec and cosine right these all we learned there and we learned the complementary angles of uh, trigonometry and uh, with after that we learned the trigonometric ratios of different different angles like of 30 degree like sine 30 cos 30 right tan 30 like this and 45 and then 60 and, and of 90 degree we learned all these and after that we learned some uh, trigonometric identities like uh, sine square theta plus cos square theta equals to 1 sec square theta minus uh, tan square theta equals to 1 and then we learned another uh, cos sec square uh, theta minus cot square theta equals to 1 and th and many more we learned there right and I hope that you have very good concepts of those all things and now here in this chapter we will be applying those all concepts that we learned previously right in our daily life activities how our daily life activities is uh, becoming more easier how it makes us more easier with the application of the trigonometry with the use of the trigonometry that will be learning here and before that I want to introduce with a little bit some terminologies that we will be using in this application of trigonometric chapter so suppose uh, for that uh, let me make a line first suppose this is my line and uh, I have another line suppose this is my another line and uh, let me take one more line uh, let me take one more line right fine okay and here I'm assuming something uh, this is my ground suppose okay uh, let me make a small line this is my ground and this is the sky and horizontal line in the sky you can say right horizontal line horizontal line it's L I any line in the sky right these two lines and both are parallel right both are parallel and the line this is suppose we are here we are here or with our this is our eye suppose we are watching this with our eye this we are watching so this is called the line of sight okay it is called line of sight because we're watching from here sometime depending on the situation we may be watching from here right we may be watching from here from here we may watch so this time that's why we, uh, we say sometime we may uh, from this angle so certain angle it is suppose right we may make this angle with the horizontal line or sometime with the ground or with the horizontal we may make this line at this angle right this angle is called angle of elevation angle of elevation and this angle is called angle of angle of depression right this is called angle of depression and this is called angle of elevation see it's a, a, a kind of elevation right so that's why we can say this is angle of elevation we just uh, give a name and uh, if you know this all and the concepts that we had learned already in trigonometry that uh, that sine theta uh, in, in, in a right angle triangle so let me make a right angle triangle that will be once again I'm repeating okay so don't get bored I know you you know these all things but again once again let me repeat this all right and uh, what we had learned that uh, the, the largest part the largest part of the uh, right angle triangle is called hypotenuse right this is hypotenuse and this is our base if we suppose this angle right this is our theta angle then this is our base and opposite this is our opposite sometimes we also uh, say this is as a perpendicular this is perpendicular right and if I will suppose this hypotenuse as H this base as B and this perpendicular as P then sine theta is perpendicular right opposite we can say perpendicular over this hypotenuse right uh, this perpendicular over this hypotenuse so P upon H and similarly tan theta is perpendicular of a base this perpendicular right this of a base this is our tan theta and cos theta is base 
over hypotenuse base this base over this hypotenuse right so only this uh, these three fundamental things we should know in application of trigonometry generally uh, rest of these three we can uh, we know easily because this, these are the reciprocal of these main fundamentals now with the help of this we can now easily solve every kinds of problem and I hope that you know the value of sine theta uh, in the form like uh, sine 30 cos 30 tan 30 and again sine 45 cos 45 and tan 45 again sine 60 cos 60 and tan 60 and sine 90 cos, uh, cos 90 and tan 90 this this all you should know right because those all things we, we are going to use right uh, and wh what kind of problem we'll be getting in this uh, application of trigonometry? Let me give you a simple example over here. See, here is a man, right? Here is a man. Uh, th there is some problem in this window, and he is repairing this window with a ladder. See, there is a big ladder here, and this is the house, right? Now, question may ask you that: What is the height of the window, right? This is your window. So, question ask you: What is the height of the window? height of window from the ground this is our ground right this is our ground so what is the height of the window from the ground if if question question say that the length of the ladder length of the ladder ladder is uh, like uh, it may give you anything like 30 30 not 30 yeah uh, you can say 300 centimeter right suppose it's of 300 centimeter that's it uh, it is of 300 centimeter or you can say some meter also uh, okay for just just forget this okay and now we need to find out the length of this part this from here to here this length we need to find out and question give you something more also suppose this ladder is making the angle of 30 degree with the ground with this ground right now look at this picture seriously a little bit seriously here is the window right and this is the ladder right this is the ladder and this ladder is making 30 degree with the ground and we need to find out the height of this window right so how how can we do this did did something hit on your mind yes 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 how let's see here what exactly I want to show you here this is your height right this is your height height of the window right let me give some name it's just like a triangle let me give this is a this is B and this is C and this is your 30 degree right this is 30 degree so it is just like a right angle triangle and what you have got here you have got here the length of this ladder right you have got this length right and the length according to the equation you have got this is 300 centimeter right and you need to find out this height right this height how much it is and you have got this 30 degree so if you talk uh, like a right angle triangle it's the same like this exactly it is like this if you if you see here right what you have got you have got this angle as a 30 degree right and uh, you know that this hypotenuse is 300 centimeter and you just have to find out this perpendicular or just you have to find out the opposite how much it is right this is your hypotenuse and this is your perpendicular so the relationship between the perpendicular and the hypotenuse is sine exactly so here in this triangle sine 30 will be equals to how much yes opposite over the hypotenuse or perpendicular over the hypotenuse that is perpendicular of hypotenuse or if you talk about in this figure then it will be a b upon a c right a b over this a c right and yes you know the value of sine 30 that is equals to half so let me put the value it is half and again equals to a b upon a c we don't know the value of a b but we know the value of this a c so let me write a b as it is here and let me put the value of a c is easier 300 centimeter right so now I can easily say that this will go this side right so it will be a B it will be now 300 divided by 2 it is 150 150 centimeters thus what I can say now that the height of the window is 150 centimeter we got how much 150 centimeter 
right this is the height of this this window from the ground so like this problem you will get many many kinds of problem you will get here I'm giving the example of the uh, example of the uh, this later sometime you'll get the example of the rivers or uh, some breeze or s many many things you will get and we'll be doing th those all things and uh, I hope uh, that you'll uh, you'll understand those all things and get the good concepts how to apply this trigonometry in our ac daily life activities okay so in uh, next video we'll be doing some uh, some more problem that will give you good concepts so we'll be meeting in the next video bye bye and please if you like my videos subscribe me i'll be very happy and i'll get some motivation that i can make you more videos with better quality and please comment if uh, something is uh, some weakness is inside me and that i can improve myself that uh, i can give you uh, some some better quality okay